And so it's on to the 64th annual NAIA football playoffs. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Parson. Cougars on the road today facing unbeaten in sixth-ranked Lindsey Wilson College. Welcome in to Blue Raiders Stadium here in Columbia, Kentucky. Right now, motion left to right behind the line of scrimmage on a sweep coming up. Are they going to try the double pass? They will throw into the end zone. Wobbly balls up there for grabs and caught. Let's see. Is it? No, it was intercepted. So the Cougars get it back on a pick. I think that was Jalen Moss. Cougars had only two interceptions all season long. And an interception in the end zone, and St. Francis keeps it 2 nothing. Blue Raiders on the pick. Rabel on second down and eight. Ready again, wants to throw a short drop, looks, can't find anything, steps up, will run again. Runs to the 30, to the 45, to the 40, and down all the way to the 30. Started to go down at the 35-yard line, but realized there was not going to be a Blue Raider immediately in the vicinity and picks up another six yards. So Kribble all of a sudden has been the most effective ground producer for St. Francis. Grable sets his team down. Here's the snap. He'll run it himself. Off tackle, left side. Finds the running room. Inside the 10, inside the 5. Diving for the pylon. Did he get in? They're going to mark him down inside the 2. They're going to say the knee hit before he reached across the pylon. So it'll be first and goal for St. Francis. And the Cougars finally knocking on the door, trying to get on the board for the first time here this afternoon. They'll move that ball back to the two-yard line. Too wide to the right. Crable with the snap. Looks to Wallace. He'll run to the left and into the end zone. Takes it in from two yards out. And the, now there's a penalty flag thrown. One of the Cougars, I believe, Brookins lost a helmet. But I believe the touchdown will stand at the 12.52 mark. So Matt Crable running the football. They'll spread the field with three wide to the right side. Running back off, set to left, Dukes to throw. Time in the pocket again, disappearing. They've got him for the first time today. He struggles, though, back up across the 10. Well, you don't see that often when Matt Schwartz locks up on somebody. They usually go down right away. But Dukes, at 6'1", 205, was able to carry Schwartz back up and uh, minimize the loss. It is a loss of two yards. And it'll be second down and 12. Everybody else within about five yards of the line of scrimmage. Here's the draw coming up. And a run across the 15 to the 20. And there's Eli Wallace turns the corner at the 25 to the 30. Tackle from behind, lost the football, but out of bounds. That was Damani Jenkins that caught up to him from behind. To give you an idea how quick these Raiders defensively are, that he is a defensive end. Never gave up on the play, but a good run nonetheless by Eli Wallace has it first and 10 USF at their own 36-yard line. Has the snap, looks to hand it off, and a run to the right side. Wallace again with some running room. He's got another first down. All the way up across the 46 to the 47-yard line goes Eli Wallace. Two weeks ago, had six carries at Taylor for 121 yards. But as good as you are as a running back, and P.J. Dean will tell you this, you've got to have a hole to run to. Crable, will he stay with the run game? Looks again to hand the ball off. And here's Wallace again, curls up the middle. And he's got another first down to the 41-yard line. Eli Wallace running hard. Solomon Cito has come in on the offensive line. Nick Shoemaker stays out there on the right side as well. Rixie now will check out Rocky James as well. They'll bring in Zen Dellinger. Here's Crable again. Looks, hands it off. There's Wallace. Wallace tripped up, still on his feet. Fight second effort. Looking for the first down stick, and I believe he's got it down to the 31. And Eli Wallace running hard, breaking tackles. Three straight carries. And USF getting closer and closer to the red zone. They've got it now at the 32 with first and 10. Two wide, including Duke Blackwell to the right. Play action fake. Crable wants to throw. Looks on the crossing pattern and a diving catch. Was the ball made with the cut? It was. It'll be first and at the six-yard line. Rocky.
Ricky James, normally a little exuberant after a catch, he was staying down on sitting down like he had dropped the ball, but they roll it a catch, it'll be first and goal. So the Cougars trying to fight back once again. Wallace back in as the running back, offset to the right side. Play action fake, Crable looking, steps up, wants to run. Is not gonna get their second effort, dives for the goal line, did he get in, touchdown! Matt Crable from four yards out, found a way to get it across. Time of the score, 143. Four-yard touchdown run by Matt Crable. That'll make it 16-13. On the left side, Hashmark, short drop, look, steps up, scrambles, wrapped up by Swartz. This time he's not letting go. That's a sack. And Jamal Jackson was there as well, but Matt Swartz ate him up and a loss. We'll bring up third down and 12. Ball, by the way, is rolling away. They're going to have to kill the clock with 58.3 seconds. Expecting James to get a little bit of a boost. The wind that is here is out of the, from the right to left. Here's Jack James arriving. Low line kick will take a bounce, and that is fumbled, picked up at the goal line. Gain a return across the five to the 10. Given ground, and that cost him. Good play downfield as the Cougars prevent a big return as getting down there on the kick pursuit that was I think that was Ethan Rogers so the Blue Raiders will have the football first and ten but they'll have it at their 13 yard line Dukes out of the pistol looking gives ground wants to throw looks looks throws over the middle and that one's picked off at the 20 yard line Here's a move by Jalen Moss to the 10. And St. Francis with a pick. And USF, that's the second interception of the day. The Cougars have had two picks all season only. But two today. And Moss with the second of the ball game. And USF will have it first and 10 at the LWC 11-yard line. Well, you were looking for a break, and finally, the Cougars get one. Cougars can pick up a first down inside the one-yard line if they need it. Here's motion back to the near side. Crable wants to throw on the quick slant, and it is there. Rooksy, does he have it? He does for a touchdown. First time today, the Cougars have been get, able to get into the end zone on a pass. This one good for a six-yard touchdown toss. Quick slant. From Crable to Rixie, who had to battle for it. Time of the score at the 12.45 mark. And for the first time today, St. Francis has taken the lead. So Matt Crable to Dan Rixie. Rixie with his ninth touchdown catch of the year. Got Boyd offset to the left. He comes in motion back to the near side. Here's a, a little spin move. Dukes is wrapped up and dropped, though, back around the 24. Cougar stayed at home, weak side left. Looks like Groves got in there. So that's a loss. And now it'll be third down and eight facing the Blue Raiders. Here's Dukes again, wanting to throw. Looks, looks, scrambling, and throws the ball. Incomplete. He had no penalty flags, and St. Francis has held on downs, and they'll take over the football, still leading it at 20 to 16. Did not get a chance to see who reached around and impeded that throw downfield inside the 15, but it will be a fourth down stop. Grable long count, wants to throw. Looks, looks, dances. Now throws to the right side. He's got Rixie on a comeback pattern. Works to midfield. He's got the catch at the 50-yard line. And USF will move the chains. Again, as the sun, can you believe it's breaking through to our right? Clock inside, six and a half minutes. Time remaining here in quarter three. A little different lineup here is that the 
blitz being shown defensive left side and they'll run the ball that way and running room P.J. Dean leaps over one tackle at the 20 to the 15 to the 10 to the 5 touchdown P.J. Dean to the house good for 38 yards and the Cougars expand on their four point lead delete it now by 10 P.J. Dean great to see him with that burst of acceleration and leaping over a would-be tackler inside the 20-yard line. That is sure to make the highlight film. Time of the score, 4.42. Raiders trying to get out to their own 44. Too wide to the right. Dukes looks that way. Now steps up, gets away, scrambles to the right, and then hit a drop back at the 31-yard line. Cougars getting a lot of, Rob Brown was in there. It'll be fourth down and a loss. Back around the 31 yard line. Well, it took a while, but the Cougars finally got off the bus. Final 40 seconds to the quarter. Cravel, no, spins. Screens the ball, has got a catch. And a run for a first down, that's Nick Brickens. Left his feet cartwheels across the 45 of the Blue Raiders down to about the 44 yard line. They'll move the chains, and suddenly USF looking very much alive offensively. And doing it with the run game. Davis Sitch and Kivian Evans at the defensive end spots. Dukes, it'll be a double pass coming up. They want to throw the ball long and deep. It's a rainbow pass coming up, and that ball is knocked away. Good play defensively by St. Francis. And no penalty flag. You can hear the crowd below. They wanted one, but that was up for grabs. Rolled incomplete, and now it'll bring up second down and 10. Down inside eight and a half minutes remaining. They need two scores. They're down 10, but uh, staying with the run game. Dukes again, read option. Once the throw steps up, has time, throws, and a comeback ball. That, that, that ball is, is it caught? They're going to roll it, an interception, the third of the day for USF. They've got it at the Cougar 27-yard line. Now, they, they're talking about it. i got to be honest, at first I thought it hit the ground. But that is going to be an interception. Boss has had two today. Cameron Dukes trying to move his team, wants to throw. Looks, gets ground, screens the ball near side. That's in traffic and nearly picked off. That was for grabs. Keon, Kevion Evans was there. Jamal Jackson was there. Boy, Dukes took a chance that time trying to find a receiver with a lot of silver helmets from St. Francis in the vicinity. Getting noticeably darker and uh, missed. Here's Cameron Dukes looking, being pursued, wrapped up and dropped. Ball pop free, but they've got it back at the 30-yard line. It'll be second down and a loss. Loss of five, but Dukes coughed up the ball as the Cougars caught up to him. Trying to sc scramble run to his left. And why is the clock stopped? Why is the clock stopped? Now it runs again. Wow. Getting homered now. Still one timeout remaining. Here's Crable now, wanting to throw again. Looks, taking a long time, long time. Pumps, throws it up, looking for a play. That's like Rocky James had it. Did he hold on? He did inside the 35-yard line. 20 seconds remain. Cougars, should they take their time out now? Clock runs. They've got to spike the ball. Here's Crable, spikes it with 13.7 seconds to play. And it will be Lindsey Wilson with a playoff victory, comeback victory here at home. They'll win it by a final score of 30 to 26.